Alright gamers, let's take a look at this shotgun split flex formation. We like to use this as our blitz beater. Uh, the split flex, flex is a phenomenal play, and the play we most likely, uh, re we really enjoy focusing on is the slot seam. Now, in order to show this concept, I'm going to use the sugar defenses that are so popular in Madden NFL 25, and uh, we're going to talk about how to beat the sugar Ds. So, uh, sugar 3 uh, DB5 here, and uh, we're going to you're going to set it up like we would set up the blitz, and, and you know do the actual setup of the blitz. Bring the guys down, and uh, here we go. So you're going to see what the blitz is going to come in here. But the uh, first read on this play is DeMarco Murray. And uh, you see we can hit him right out of the backfield. And look at that, right where the Sugar 3D uh, is going to be coming at us hot. We got that quick pass uh, ability to be able to beat the blitz. And uh, really freaking, I mean, this is really, um, it's really going to force the opponent to, Whoops, actually, let me, just, let me reset the blitz up. So, uh, it's going to force the opponent to, you know, not be able to blitz from the left. And, you know, so they're, they're going to start blitzing from the right. So, if they start blitzing from the right, what we're going to do is, this is why we have our second read on the play, which is going to be Jason Witten. And uh, after read Mark Murray, okay, not there. I can just hit Jason Witten out of the backfield on that little double move. And um, just a really effective route. That we can use right in that little pocket, and you're going to force your opponent to start making playing maximum coverage defense uh, with these two routes. And these are really um, both of these routes also beat every zone in the game. So here, for example, we'll just show you a cover three, and um, Demarco Murray's still going to get open against zone coverage. You see right in that little uh, window to throw to him, and uh, it's really effective. The only thing that really gets in the way on these routes are man. Um, well, you see, we can still throw it to him, but it's just not not as not as clean, um, and not as not as good. And then you have uh, Jason Witten's route, actually, though. So so DeMarco's Murray's route beats zone. Jason Witten's route also beats man and zone. So uh, let's take a look at this. So Jason Witten is our second read, and uh, you see that little double move, little shake to the outside there, and uh, gets you a quick five. So you know we have man blitz beater, zone blitz beater man beater and zone beater all in these two routes now what we like to do off of this is we like to put miles austin on a smart routed out route and des bryant on a comeback route and in situations where they're not being honest and they're not putting flat zones out there we can hit that out route to miles austin and that's our probably our fourth read on this play and then obviously if there's ever a um if there's ever two men under um you guys know we can make that user catch on the comebacks uh, on the outside here and uh you know keep moving up field and then lastly um, the last read on this play is, is a situation where they're going to be um, bringing heavy pressure. And that's what we really like out of this is, is if we want to, say they send heavy pressure, but then they like drop some zones and, and try, to, try to make up for the, the play, but they forget that they're still in a cover zero blitz. Well, uh, that's where our last read comes in. We look, nothing's open, nothing open. Oh, we see one-on-one -on -one over the top. We're going to bomb them over the top, lob it up, and Terrence Williams is going to crush any corner in the game in a cover CEO situation. In a two-man under situation, however, uh, let's just show you, if you throw this right against two men under, it's not as open. Uh, it's actually still really good uh, separation, but you see the safety is going to get in the way, and uh, you're not going to be able to you're not going to be able to pass it like you could uh, in a cover zero situation. It's all about the safety, guys. If the safety's in the way, um, then it's going to force this route to kind of go away. Um, but you see here, and then we can just like something like that maybe. So uh, that's two men under, guys, and it just crushed it. So. That's the uh, slot seam. Let's talk about some other some other plays we have out of this formation. Halfback slip screen. What I like to do with this play is I like to put Jason Witten on a swing route to the left. I like to put um, Miles Austin on a drag route to the left. And I like to put Des Bryant on a come rack or an out route depending on the situation. First read on the play is always going to be Jason Witten. If they're blitzing from the left side, guys, this is going to crush any blitz in the game. Uh, it's a very effective route. Now, the next read is DeMarco Murray, and DeMarco Murray is going to be open uh, in situations where they're in zone coverage. A lot of guys like to run zone. Uh, I'm one of those guys, and, uh, you know, zone coverage, DeMarco Murray is going to be wide open, and uh, you see we get the blocking out there, and, and, you know, we can just run to daylight. Third read on this play is actually going to be the, um, the drag route coming across the middle of the field. So, in situations where, you know, they may be, Maybe in a uh, cover two or something like that. So cover two, trying to stop the screen. And DeMarco Murray probably will still be open. But we can just drop that, that little drag route. And look at that. We can run, get behind the blockers just like we did out of the trips. Use that to our advantage. And then the uh, fourth read on this play is for a situation where they're in a two-man under defense. Uh, where we have that one-on-one -on -one and we can use Des Bryant's um, 
steadiness to um, use the out routes. And you see there it is. There's Des Bryant on the out routes. And then the last play, last read, is for an all-out max coverage defense that your defense may throw at you. Um, something where they literally only blitz one guy. And uh, in that situation, though, the screen blocking is not going to be an issue because they're only literally only blitzing one guy. So you can just look, 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 hit your deep post route. X is the, X is the read here. And um, it's a really effective maximum coverage defense beater. Uh, for situations where your opponent's running um, heavy, heavy max coverage defense. So situation, they drop everybody back. They're playing the deep stuff. We pass lead that to the inside. They're going to click on and go make a play on it. It's going to beat max coverage defenses. It's always nice to have a read like that in your arsenal. All right, the next play I want to talk about, halfback draw. What we like to do with this is in situations where they're playing two men under or just not very disciplined defense against the run, we're going to call it and we're going to slide protect to the right. You see it's going to shift them to the right, and we're going to run it like an off tackle. And you see we can kind of slither in through the thing, slice and dice through the holes, and, uh, you know, get positive yardage. And that's what we like about the two man under. Uh, or not the two man under, but the uh, halfback draw out of split is you get that lead blocker from Witten, and then you can go, 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 run to daylight, and there you see DeMarco Polo break a draw off to the house. Okay, guys, so um, next thing, uh, next play we want to talk about, the last play we got here for you is the slot post. And uh, the only adjustments you really need to make on this, you actually don't need to make any adjustments on this play. And uh, to snap the ball, you see Jason Witten's route is our first read. And we're going to easily be able to hit it out of the backfield quick. Second read is obviously going to be um, DeMarco Murray out of the backfield. So Witten's covered. Okay, we're going to hit DeMarco Murray and uh, throw it to him. All right, guys, the third read on this play is going to be the... Um, the out route, so right, left, right, and you see that the right route is going to be open this time. So you look right if that's open, left, then go back to the right, and then now you're going to look to the middle. So right, left, right, middle, and that time it was covered, but I just threw it, I threw it blind. That The post route is going to serve as a, uh, a viable option to beat man coverage. So a uh, situation where there are two men under us, um, and uh, you know, literally like right, left, no, no. Got it, and you're going to click on and make a catch. Another thing I really like this play for is situations where my opponent maybe wants to wants to uh, maybe run like a, a cover three or something. And if they run cover three against the slot post, this, uh, this is like a label, uh, basically like a Texas concept. And you see we could either we could hit DeMarco underneath or we could hit that post route over the top. Last read on this play, guys, is just in you know a situation where nothing else is open. Look, nope, nope, nope. I got my comeback user catch, uh, and I threw it a little too late there. But you know you have your comeback user catch that we love to do this year. No, no, no. And again, that's a little late. We may just need to throw the comeback. Actually, I'll say this: um, you probably just want to throw the comeback when he breaks back this, uh, on this play, just because the timing is off. It's not going to time it correctly. So you're looking. No, 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 no. Yes, and then you throw the comeback out. All right, so that's the uh, way we like to run the split offset, uh, or the split flex, actually, excuse me. And uh, we like to really use the, I really, really like the draws. I like the screen. I love the slot pose. This is a really good formation. I don't run it enough, but, you know, definitely, guys, want to check this out and see what you can do with it. So, anyways, guys, that's the, that's the bonus beating formation, and that's the offensive scheme of the week. Uh, let's get into this gameplay.